Hey folks, today I want to step you through creating a landing page with WooCommerce. And this is a preview of what we'll be creating. We have a site banner here, site header area, uh, a hero with a call to action, and then category columns, uh, although these could be easily replaced with uh, specific products, and a two by two grid here of, again, these are categories, but they could be products, and we have a sale call to action area here, and testimonials and a footer. So let's dive in. All right, let's step through what we have here in our WordPress installation before we start building. Um, we have WooCommerce plugin installed and activated. We are using the Frost theme, version 0.9.8. And for products, I used test data and imported it. Um, this is from the WooCommerce plugin. I'll drop a link. Um, it's included in the plugin. Uh, so I just imported some test data for that. Um, and here's our list of products. Um, and then we just have some media, which actually most of this was imported along with the test data. And then I just grabbed some images from Unsplash. So let's start building. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a template for our landing page. And since in this example, we want it to be the home page, we're going to jump into the site editor and open this up, the sidebar up and go to templates and add new. And we're going to choose front page for our home page. And that'll drop us right into the site editor with our new front page as the template. And we are going to remove this because we'll be replacing this with our main content. And the first thing we'll want to do, um, let's just look at our design here. We're going to create the site wide banner. So we will insert a group block and we're going to set the background color to this primary purple and we're going to give this a little uh, padding we'll say 0 0.5 and we will add a paragraph with site-wide sale uh, start shopping. So this could be your call to action and we're going to set this to white link white. We'll center it up. Um, we're also going to make it a little smaller and it was so we could link this off maybe to our shop page. Um, I'll just use an anchor link for now. And let's save that and jump over and get a preview of what we have so far. There we go, that's our site-wide banner. Now let's go in and update our site header, site header to match our design, which uh, incorporates the WooCommerce mini cart. So from the site editor, let's expand here and let's see what we have. We have the the header that we added earlier um, with a row, a site title, navigation. Uh, that's looking good. Um, and then we have a menu here with the sub menu items. Uh, we just have to make a few modifications. Uh, so what we'll do here is after the site title, we're going to insert another row block. Uh, let's see, row. And we actually want to nest our navigation in that row. So we drag and drop that 
And after our navigation, we're going to put the mini cart. Mini. All right, there we go. And we can modify that a little bit. We're going to want to change the font size, make it small. And we'll take the text color to primary purple. And I think this could be right aligned for this row. Uh, and then this is already justified space between item, which items, which is great. So I think that's all we needed to do. Save that. Again, give it a quick preview. Um, there we go. We have the mini cart. Uh, we have our navigation and site title. Let's continue along with this uh, main large hero area with a call to action. We'll jump back to the site editor and collapse our header. And we're going to say insert after. And we're going to use a group lock. And inside the group lock, we're going to say cover. And we'll grab an image from our library. Let's turn this and within the cover block, we're going to nest a group block. Um, that just allows us a little more flexibility if we want to adjust the spacing or the colors within. Um, and we'll start by adding a paragraph and we're going to say fall collection. And center that and we're gonna make it a small font size whoops choose that and color white there we go I think we'll give that line height of one and now a heading um, I believe we had Let's see, Mega Lounge. Um, oh, let's convert that to a heading and make that H1, center it up. And we're gonna make it pretty large. And we'll make this, we'll go back up to the group and we're gonna make sure that all the text is white. There we go. And then for our heading, we're going to adjust the margin spacing here. I think we'll want to do, let's zero. And then we want this to be, I think, one and a half rem and zero. Okay. I think that covers our heading and then we'll insert some buttons. center those and we're going to set that to outline base and say shop now and actually no we're going to set that to fill base yeah there we go i think we're good here well actually we can set the overlay color We'll want to use a gradient. Frost has some great gradients to use. And um, we're going to set a minimum height. We'll say 610 pixels. Yeah. Save that. Hop back over here and see how we're doing. Uh, this is looking pretty good. We could adjust the, um, the cover blocks focal point a little bit. Maybe bring that up. Save that. And then we can get both faces in there. There we go. That's pretty good. 
So the next section we're going to work on blocking out here is this three column section. Uh, these could be featured categories or um, individual products. But let's start blocking this out. Uh, before we do that though, let's, I like to label these. So we're going to set an ID on this cover air, well, hero area. We're going to call it hero. And that just gives us a little uh, indicator on the side here. So as we're going along, um, so let's add our new section. We're going to insert a group block. And we'll set the background to the dark color. And then we're going to add a heading at the top. And I think we said latest trends uh, and outer wear. Center that. Uh, we'll leave it at H2. Uh, we'll give it white color. And we can actually give this a little highlight effect. Uh, we'll select the ampersand, say highlight, and give it that uh, teal color. And after our heading, we'll insert our columns. And we'll want three columns here. And then within each column, we are going to add, we're going to use the featured category. Uh, this is a WooCommerce block. We'll insert that. And then for this first section, I think we're using accessories. Choose accessories and done. Uh, we can alter this button here. Let's close this out for a second. We'll probably, let's do outline base for that button. Um, and then hop into our next column. And again, we'll do featured category. We're gonna do, I think, jackets here. Uh, we'll change our button to outline base. And again, featured category. And we do shirts here. And outline base. And then I think the only other thing we'll want to do is choose the group block, the parent group block here, and we're going to set some padding. I'll uh, we'll change it to rims, and we're going to add some top and bottom padding. I think that's what we had. Three and three. Save this and see where we are. Hop back over here and see how we're doing. Looking pretty good. I think we're going to want to just add uh, these awesome gradients for the overlays here. And we'll just do different ones for each section. So that one gradient blue. Gradient green. Save that. Refresh. All right, we're looking pretty good there. For this next section, we just have a uh, two by two grid here. So let's start blocking that out. Um, but first, just like we did before, I wanna give this an ID so we can just, uh, just distinguish it in the sidebar here. We're gonna call this three columns. Okay. And collapse that now and insert after. And for this, we're just going to use columns. Columns, and we're just going to do 50 50. And um, we are going to put inside of these cover blocks. Uh, grab some items from our media library. Uh, this one's going to be for accessories and hats, so, and we're going to put a group block inside here. 
Um, and then this is pretty similar to the hero area we did earlier on. We're gonna put a paragraph. We're gonna say hats, actually, let's hats. And accessories. And we're gonna uh, make that small. Center it. Uh, adjust the line height. One, uh, we'll put heading after that. Um, we're gonna say H3, Let's say keep a lid on it. Center that. Uh, we could probably make that a little bigger. Actually, no, we'll stick with that size for now. Um, but we'll want to adjust the spacing probably. Margin. Switch to RAM. Uh, we're going to say zero at the top and one on the bottom. And then let's insert a button or buttons block with button nested within and center it. And say shop now. And we want this to be outline base. Um, and yeah, and we'll continue this for the other column. And we can save this and preview it. Um, we'll want to set a min height on these cover blocks. So we can hop back over here and we'll say minimum height of 610. And same here, 610. Uh, and we'll probably want to use a nice overlay gradient. Let's do blue and green. Save that. Hop over and preview. Great. And now we really just need to duplicate this column and replace uh, with the content that we desire. Although I may change this uh, heading, it's a little, little uh, smaller than I'd like it. So we're just going to come back here and make a little adjustment to the font size here. Let's get that a little bigger. And we actually want, let's do a little letter spacing here. I think it'll make it a little more readable. So letter spacing, we're going to set it to one pixel, and same here. Whoops. And then for the next section, if we hop back over here, we have the same thing. So we can actually just duplicate this and replace the content with what we want. So, so we can just go up to the parent columns and say duplicate. And now we can give the previous section, we'll go and give it an ID. Uh, we will call this two columns top. And then we can collapse that and we'll call this one two columns bottom. And now we just need to replace the content.
Now this is going to be our um, sale area, announcing a sale. So we're going to remove this and remove the heading. Uh, we'll replace this um, and we're going to say save 15%. We are going to reset this and increase the size a little bit. And we'll make this smaller. And we don't need the buttons anymore. We can remove those. And we can create the highlight effect again here. And we can do the same for 15%. Let's save that and see where we're at. Getting there, we are getting there. Just uh, reduce the spacing here. Probably just remove the margin from the top one. Or actually we can use my knife. And we want to match our design here. So we're going to go with 36 and increase the letter spacing here. And we're going to change the font weight as well. We're going to make that extra bold. And we should be in pretty good shape. And now for our next area, we want to do a testimonial section. Let's take a peek at that uh, right here. So we are going to do a group block. And set the background to dark. Um, we want some padding here. I think we did five, four, six, four. Um, and then we're going to add paragraph block in here with our content. Uh, let's make that white. And we want to make it a little bit bigger than that. I think 36 and center it. And then we'll have our star rating. Um, we're just using some placeholder content for now, which are just stars. Center that, and we'll set those to small, I think, yeah. <clears throat> and change the color. And then we'll have the person's name. I think that's probably centered and small as well. 
Uh, and we want that to be white. And I think that's it for the testimonial. Let's preview that and make sure we're still on track. Uh, looks like the spacing is off here. Oh, we don't want the inner blocks to be full width, so we'll turn that off. And save that and preview it and it should look a lot better. Yeah, that's looking better. So now we just have to get our footer blocked out and we actually don't have to do much here. We're gonna remove the default footer that came and we'll say insert after and we are going to choose a footer, type footer and we can choose one from frost and we actually just, this one is ideal. And that gets us most of the way there, really. I can save that. Hop back over here and preview it. And we're looking pretty good. Yep, I think we are there. Well, there you have it, folks. Hopefully that helped uh, step you through what it takes to block out a landing page with WooCommerce and WordPress blocks. Um, if you like this video, all the information is available in this post on wpengine.com forward slash builders. I'll drop a link in the show notes. Um, we have all the code and patterns available. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it and thanks.